Hi everyone, see this? I did this tutorial a while back using Crocodove, one of the tools in uh, Reactor. But unfortunately, due to some SDK release issues with uh, Blackmagic and all that, that tool is yet to be updated. After upgrading to DaVinci Resolve 19 and after looking at a tutorial by William Justice, I see how we can reproduce this same effect, perhaps even easier in DaVinci Resolve 19. Let's get to it. Go to effects, under effects, pull in a fusion comp. Click on there, put the playhead on there and go to the fusion page. Pull this out here, shift space bar, bring in the S text node, pull that in here. Click on an empty space, shift space bar, bring in S outline tool. Bring in another S outline tool. Then bring in two S render nodes. And then we can connect it up, connect the S text to both S outline tools and connect the S outline to the S render. Now for this S text, let's pull it to the left viewer. Let's just type um, resolve. I'm going to pick a font called null shock. Increase the size, let's say 0 0.15, maybe 175. Okay. Drag this S outline to the right viewer. You see we have the outline there. We go to we click on S outline, go under inspector and drop the thickness to 0 0.001, something like this. So we can see the text better. Let's drag the renderer here. Then we click on here and on check, check on the list. So it's black. So if you go to length, you will see we have this sick looking effect. So we want to go, it's go from zero to one. But if you see at the zero point, if I zoom in like maybe like 100%, you see we still have some dots showing. We'll deal with that eventually, but we want to do the length first. So we have this six stuff. So it goes from zero to one. Right click on length, modify with anim curves. Modifier tab lights up, go to modifiers from zero to one. Then the curve will leave it at linear. And the time scale, let's just put this at um, one point two and put this at 0 0.05 the only other thing we do here is make it that at the beginning these dots don't show so i'm going to go to thickness i'm going to right click on it modify with anim curves go to modifiers i want it to go from 0 0.0001 to 0 0.001 and then i want this to happen pretty fast so i'm going to make the time scale 20 and leave all these at the default so you see at the beginning there's nothing showing but then it appears and then it starts the movement that's for this first outline so we go to the next outline this outline two let's drag this render here then for this one we're going to drop a thickness to 0 0.004 then the length we drop it so we have something round so we have this round stuff then we now go to position, right click on it, modify with and curves. So it's going to go from zero to one linear. And then the time scale, we set it to this 10 time scale we set for S outline 1.2 and then time offset 0 0.05. Bring in a merge node here and put this on the background node of the merge and put this on the foreground and drag this merge to the right viewer you see we have that small dot and we have it following if i drag this up and down you see it following that trace but we want to make this round dot a little more exciting shift space bar bring in a glow node now for this glow node we just increase this to zero point let's say zero point five so if you drag this to the viewer we have a bit of glow there and then we want the glow to just be a bit high. Let's just say 0 0.85. So it's just there. If you check the merge, you see we have that glow thing there. And if we go from the beginning, 
it goes like so. But you see this glow is showing up from the beginning. So what we're going to do, we do the same thing we did for this for thickness. So we go to right click on thickness, modify with adding curves, and then we go to modifiers. We set it from 0 0.0001 to the thickness 0 0.004. And then we set the time scale to 20. But I want to make the thickness just a bit more. So I'm just going to go here and probably put this at 0 0.007. It's a little too much. Let's just say 0 0.005. That's better. So if we play this back, you see we have that playing. Cool stuff. Then I just feel we need to add a bit more jazz to it. Then at the tail end, you'll see that the glow is still showing here. I don't want the glow to show after it gets to the end. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do a little, let's say I bring in a background node, drop the alpha to zero. Then I'm going to bring in a merge node, connect this to the foreground and connect this background to the background. Then drag this to this here. Now for this merge node, I want a situation where when it stops the animation, then the glow starts disappearing. So what I'm going to go to this merge, I'm going to go to blend, right click on it, modify with anim curves, go to modifiers, and I want it to go from one, one to zero. That would be one to minus one. And I want this to start at 0 0.9. And I want it to happen pretty fast, like 15, the time scale. So if you go here, you see that it just goes here and it dissolves. Great. Then one other thing I'd like to add before we move, finish up, just a little jazzy thing, because we're practically done what we're doing. We bring in a particle emitter node, we bring in a Particle renderer node, connect this here. Now for the particle emitter, we go to inspector, go to style, we make it um, the blob, and then we go to size, set this to 0 0.5. Then we go to region, we go to region, drop down and pick bitmap. So this appears here. So I'm going to use this here before the glue to drive the particle emitter. So I'm just going to find a way to make this look better. Let's see, we bring all this down like so, and this down like so, and this goes up. And for the particle emitter, I go to controls. I set the number to 50. I set the lifespan to, let's say, 5, actually. And then lifespan variance, we leave that as it is. Bring a merge node connect this particle renderer to the foreground of this merge and connect this merge to the background here. So what I would like to do here is this. I want to rearrange this because I want to use this merge to drive the particle emitter. So I'm going to connect this to the particle emitter instead, but I want the glow to get applied after. So I'm just going to move the glow out of this, out of here connect this to the glow and connect the glow to the merge so the glow sits here and this merge now goes into this merge the reason why i'm doing this is because i want the particle i want what this merge does which is to make the particle disappear towards the end to affect both the particle emitter and the glow right so now we connect this to media out and uh, let's make it a single viewer. We are going to make a few more changes, but let's just see what we've done. And um, there it is. And then we're practically done. Let's say we want to give this glow thing a bit of color, like blue-ish. You can just move all of this down a bit. Bring a background node. Connect this to the background node. And for this background node, we can just click on color. For the glow, I'd like to pick white and let's connect this then i want for this renderer i want it to have another color like a bluish color so i'm just going to go here click on this and go connect that like so 
Now for this background node, let's say we give it a bluish color, something like so. Maybe even more blue, something like this. Yeah. And let's give it a background. Let's just drag the media out here. Stop this. Think of background. Bring an ellipse mask. Connect that to the masking bit of the background. Let's just expand it a bit like so. Go to the ellipse. Go to soft edge. Set that to 0 0.5. Let's drag the ellipse to the viewer. Now for the ellipse, let's just move it in a little. So it's like that. And then for this background, let's just give it a color. So we give it this color, drag it down somewhere around here. And if you drag this to the viewer, we have this dull color. Let's make it a bit brighter, like so. Then we now bring in a merge node, connect that to the middle there and connect this. Right now it's connected to the foreground, but I want it to connect to the background. So I right click on it, swap impute, and um, we are done. Let's drag this to the viewer, let's play it back. So we have this cool stuff. I just look at it, I feel like we could make the result move a little bit. So I'm just gonna go here, drag this whole thing here, bit, move this forward a bit more like so. Let's bring in a transform node. And for the transform node, we just want to zoom out a little bit. So I'm just gonna go right click on size, modify with adding curves. So I want it, I go to modifiers. I want it to move from 1.25 back to one so it's going to be minus 0 0.25 then let's just give it easing and let's go to sign so if we play this back you'll see as it's moving like so so it gives it a bit of a dynamic movement and that's basically it just to round everything up just make it look good click on here shift space bar bring in a soft glow node then the glow size increase it like so. Then let's go to the edit page and uh, play it back. And uh, there it is. Hope you guys had fun on this one. I did. See you on the next one. Cheers.